Welcome, this is Andre Agadez de Jardin. I'm eating a date square, drinking some coffee, and about to draft some RTR. So for those of you who don't know, I try to uh, speak out my thoughts in the draft process uh, to help everyone, help new people better understand how to draft and maybe spark some inner discussion between the uh, intermediate players. So what jumps out in this pack is a Miz Motors uh, Street Spasm. And nothing really compares to those two. It would be the Chain Walker, the Glee, the Chamberer, the Guard, and the rest are after this. But the pick is Miz Motors. It's a great, uh, great, like, nearly unbeatable bomb. Okay. So in this pack, there's Judges Familiar, Blister Squall, Lobber Crew, and Healer. Uh, I'm going to take the Blister Squall. A very powerful card. Is it is a deck. Um, Lobber Crew is also a fine pickup. Drudge Beetle and Shambler are also fine. But I'm going to grab that there, Blister Squall. Okay. So here there's an Underworld Connection, which is a solid black card. A Grim Roustabout, a Crasher, a Goblin Electrician, I don't like that weird, and a Tower Drake. <sighs> and the Judgment. I'm going to grab the Electrician. 2-2 two, two for 2 is fine. Not Electrician, Electromancer. He's an Electrician. He goes fix people's wires and stuff. He'll rewire your bathroom for you. That's right, rewire your bathroom. Time for a bite of date square. Nom 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 nom. Okay, so I can't believe there's still an arrest in this pack. So here's between Pursuit of Flight and Gutter Snipe, and the pick is Gutter Snipe. It just makes all the instant sorceries you pick up a lot better. A 2 2 for 2 is fine. Two, one, man, they're slow down this end. Okay, so here there's a treacherous instinct, a ruin wing, and a frostborn weird, and the pick is frostborn weird. Eyes of the, I also really like eyes in the skies too. For other colors, eyes in the skies, Tarian Drake and Griffin is fine. Um, I want frostborn weird. He lets me basically make all the decisions I want. A very good blocker, very good attacker. <coughs> Everything I ever wanted. A white seems quite open in this draft from the arrest and the griffin. This is going to be one of those long drafts I can see. So, uh, here is a Dispel and a Clobber Brute. Uh, both are very good. Uh, because I'm kind of on the uh, Blister Squall good overload plan, I think I want the Clobber Brute a bit more right now. Plus, I always look to pick up dudes. I don't want Bellows Lizard at all. Okay. <coughs> 
So here we have the Racketeer and the Paralyzing Grasp and a Dyna Charge. All right, now I'm just going to take the Racketeer. I've grown to really like this guy. He helps smooth me out a little. He's fine. I'm not a huge fan of Paralyzing Grasp as much as other people are. Okay. So here we have a Rune Ring, a Crasher, and a Cancel. I like Crashers, but I find I can always pick them up late. Uh, Rune Wing helps me attack and block better. Attack gives me something in the air, gives me something to block and cycle with. I'm not a big fan of Cancel as a spell right now, though it can have its place. So, uh, no one isn't white at all. Which makes me sad. There is the Exit's Backlash, which can have its place in this deck. Uh, right now, hmm, I'm gonna s stick with my colors. So just take Essence Backlash. Uh, I guess here I take the Judge's Familiar. Probably end up not playing it, but it does a thing. Ah, there's a Crasher. I'm happy to pick up a Crasher this late. Ah, Rumble Rack Rhino's the best out of those cards. Ah, the Bush Strider is the best out of those cards. The Sentry is really good. I'm not sure why it's like no one is drafting white at all. The one guy who's drafting white is going to have a good deck. Mountain to sideboard. All right. So I just like to pick up some more two, three drops. Uh, Chainwalker, Splatter, Thugs, very high. Annihilating Fires, of course, are very high. All right. Is it Guildgate? Ah, uh, Shred Freak, a Vizavati Guild Mage is amazing. And this Flash Drake. Honestly, I find the Flash Drake okay. To be completely honest with you, he's pretty big. Let's me keep mana open to do things. Ah, uh, so I'm going to take the Flash Drake. Okay, so I have a Steeler, but New Prop Gills Mage is worth splashing for. Uh, Detain and Flying are both very relevant abilities. This guy is worth splashing for. If I was white or green, I would have splashed for the Visa Body Guild Mage. I'm taking the New Prop Guild Mage. Uh, so here it's between a Lobber Crew and a Chainwalker. I'm not going to take the Chemistry's Trick. And though I do have a few multicolored spells, <sighs> Chainwalker helps me get in the early damage I tend to need. So right now I'm going to grab the Chainwalker over that Lobber Crew. <sighs> okay. Here I have a Skywatch, a Guildgate, a Promenade, and I suppose that I'm not playing that Monitor. Um, he he's fine. The Guildgate's fine too. Like they're both C type cards, as is the Trans Guild Promenade. This was an Azorius Guildgate. I might value it a bit higher because it would help me splash better. All uh, right, now I am just gonna. I already have two six drops, so I'm gonna take the Guildgate over that. Okay, <clears throat> so we have a Syncopate, a Steeler, a Vassal Soul, and a Mizzen Skins. I'm going to take the uh, Syncopate. 
one of the better manas, gets more powerful as the game goes on because of the X. Uh, Stealer is a fine choice as well, so is the Vassal Soul, but I can probably pick up another 3 drop that'll do over that Syncopate. So here it's between Batterhorn, Survey the Wreckage, and Vassal Soul. I'm just going to take Vassal Soul. This is the 3 drop I was talking about. And there it is, in the deck. Do -do. Okay, so here, these two I'm not considering. Though Batterhorn is a fine guy. It's between Electricity and an Action Injunction. Uh, both work very well. I find the Izzet deck, just from past experience, has had a lot of problems with eyes in the skies. So that makes me want to take this Electricity over the Inaction Injunction. Okay, so... There's Steeler, there's Azorius Guildgate, but I'm taking Thought Flare. Uh, its power is level is very high. Allow me to filter a lot better in its actual card advantage and filtering. Poor Steeler. So we're back to this pack. It's between the Pinting Needle if I want a sideboard card and the Guildgate. Right now I'm just going to grab the Guildgate. I'm not considering the Bellow Slizzard. Um, between Cancel and Mism Skin, I'll take Mism Skin to the side, just in case I run into a deck with a lot of spot slash burn. Ah, uh, Survey the Wreckage to the side. I'll take the Minotaur to the side in case the game ever goes long. Shrieking Affection, not gonna play. I'll play the Survey the Wreckage if I come across like this super greedy four color deck. Then I'll just be like, survey the wreckage, get you, yeah! <clears throat> and of course to the side. So I'm of course looking for splatter thugs. Uh, chain lockers, frostborn weirds. What do we have? So there's a martial law, which is very good. But I just don't think I want to splash the double white for it. Especially when there's a Gutter Snipe, an Annihilating Fire, and an Electromancer right here. I'm going to take the Fire, because it's the damage. Hopefully the Gutter Snipe makes it back around. If not, I should be able to pick, easily pick up the Electromancer. Okay. So here, the Rakdos deck is Love the Guild Mage. Um, it's Annihilating Fire or Tower Drake, and it's just Annihilating Fire. Not close. A Centaur's Herald, I'm sure one of the Celestia decks will be happy to see that. Okay. So here, there's a Dramatic Rescue, which is fine, but there's Void Wheeler, who's just much, much better. Here's someone else is heavily taking the blue red, or there's just a few bad packs. But Void Wheeler's the card here. So that's a Sky Knight. That's a second arrest. Oh my god. This white deck is gonna murder me. The white deck is gonna murder everybody in here. Ah Frig. I'm really considering the Sky Knight right now. He's a very solid 3-drop. I do hate 3 colors, though. He, I don't know, he just helps me get in that damage. Yeah, I'm taking the Sky Knight. Him and the new prop are both sweet, sweet splashes. Okay, and the phone's ringing.
so here it's the electric the crackler the electromancer and I think it's the uh, Rakdos Cackler. Though I find he does get outclassed very quick. Uh, he's what I want to be doing on turn one. Oh my lord, who fan? There's no way I'm beating the Eyes in the Skies deck. None at all. Um, I'm not playing that Shred Freak. I'm just going to remove this Phantom General. There's nothing here I really want. Deep square, nom nom nom. Hmm. What is the Centaur's Herald still doing here? So there's a Griffin, but I've already decided to avoid double white. I'm going to take the Dispel. Dispel is excellent in this format. So here I have between a Skywatch, a Clobber Brute. And with Blister Squall and Motors. I think I want Clobber Brute. He trades up really well. Skywatch does fly though, which is something to be considerate of. Hmm. No, I'm going to try the clobber boot. Um, just get rid of the swift justice to the side. It's the best card there. So, my lord. Take the tower drake. May end up playing it. I'll get rid of the armory guard. So how many multicolor spells do I have? Is this playable? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's almost playable. Does two damage to target creature or player. I'm probably not gonna end up playing it though. I'm gonna move it to the side. Like an arrestor should not be that late. Alright, so that's all for the draft. See you in deck building.